This message will be terribly, terribly long, but I believe the firmly the truth, which is the ultimate consequence, is love. So then it will be good. Yes, young, useless mind dreamer. I feel your pain, your frustration, your fury. Good. Giving to the hate. Come to the dark side and you give your forces to us and spill your miserable life in frustrating, self-harming, pitiful endeavors. Come, come to Netflix, young apprentice. <clears throat> She's imprisoned in a high-tech house, designing by a sadistic genius. To survive, she will have to get past his sophisticated AI. Mechanic, destruction, Snow White, Rambo, Saint, Fraud. Well, Netflix Satanic. Has Netflix not anything to offer to for the civilized? In sec, instead of stimulizing, stimulating and being awakened. What could we say satanic is? It's evil, which is live backwards. It's all that which is conspiring and working against live thriving solutions for keeping control cognitive unconsciousness and stimulate borderline behavior Satan satanism is conspiring against aesthetic processes where you in art reason and integration formulate your inner flow and consciousness which is a part of you your divinity your mystery the divine soul creation process within you from a spiritual understanding, you could say it's part of your higher consciousness that you then realize. And your core is an immense state of love. That's your higher being, your higher soul, which is a part of the great I, which we all are a part of, the one God. We have separated from that. We are shrouded in duality. We are incarnated in duality on the edge of light and darkness. To have character building like the famous uh, brain surgeon Ibn Alexander says. The man, the surgeon, who traveled the afterlife while he ended up in coma. There's a lot of books about that. It's very interesting. So. The conspiracy is to damage integrity and wisdom. How is that done? Well, as psychiatrist Stanley Greenspan tells us, emotions prioritize what relevant within us. It builds our mind's cognitive prioritization structure. It sorts out if we use our mistrusting uh, uh, fight or, f or flight survival reptile brain, or use the more cognitive dialogues in neocortex. That means you can program people's emotions to prioritize to react fight or flee every time you train scenarios and thus mind control. This was realized by a Chilean playwright, playwright called Augusto Boal who created the maybe anti-Netflix process called Forum Theater. What he did was he pulled the suppressed program people out of the suppression and suppressing situation and made them play out on stage and then asked people to replay a play again and again with actors. Because he said, in movies the suppression is lived out emotionally. When we watch a film 
and the end scene is what the rulers decided. And people live out emotionally and to cope with the experience of the system's domination in the movie. And in the seminar, a home seminar, uh, uh, they use up their opposition energy. And it's done unconsciously. But how is it done? Well, in foreign theater, Boal stopped the situation where, for instance, the corporation made the oppression and they expressed the power. Then he asked the audience, instead of uh, the usual solutions, then what would they do? And then the people stood up on stage and tried solutions in a creative manner. In this way, people had to speak up confronting other actors playing the dark side. And that changed them. It changed villages and communities. So, Netflix, are they then doing the opposite? Anti-forum theater? Or what? Yes, I believe Netflix with the satanic Hollywood and Disney are doing bad stuff, I believe. This is a problem. They are working for the opposite of the thriving living. When the lead character is being suppressed and maybe lose friends and family in the fight against the darkness and for love and freedom, the so-called hero goes on a revenge and killing rampage. How many films about that on Netflix? Instead of going to the police because he's alone and no one will help him. The lead character. Is, is the one you get identified with in the story. Your eye and his eye melt together. This is your emotional drama, I think. When you sit passive and flickering things happen in high tempo, in the television and on the film, it's like telling you something and telling you something without you able to get any feet on the ground. It's suggested in many, in many lots of literature that you get hypnotized and programmed. You are in a passive state and a lot of things are happening and you are accepting it. Narrative programming is to tell the story of role models and spread out training solutions to situations. In social education, this is the way to teach people who don't want to listen. In the degrading narrative programming, we see the special version in how the strong, powerful hero does his problem solving. All are attracted to how to do narrative stories. He follows the auras of the rulers, more accepted persons and elderly mentors and follows orders without bringing his heart or soul's choice into the picture. Narcos. Here the sympathy and the deceivable narrative programming is in simulation into creating sympathies with the feelings of the psychopath and befriendment of him. The emotional difficulties of assassins and his last coup of a bank robber. It goes on and on. It's always the same. This is nuts. From my perspective and from yours too. What about poor people's emotions and how they get together to form a labor union and showing how easy it could be for the oppressed and what's up and down in this challenge and formulate a new way together and speak it out. But how come that this story is nearly impossible for the, in the easygoing form? Corruption, divide and conquer and mind control. Now, you see the hero is always alone, like the cowboy. He's always alone and there is all this, this boy meets girl scene. The woman, only this woman, not the other woman, is only helping and sympathizing with him because he, she has a crush and decides his looks or what. Hunky, good looking, central hormone stimulating guy like the cute crisp chick. The industry of the beautiful cutie hunkies. And he, of course, loses support and his best friend and all around him that support him dies. The usual collateral damage for the cowboy model. It's just a movie. It's fiction. Don't mind it. Why do you 
come on, take it easy. Yes, 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 for your brain, but not for your emotions. Greenspan says that emotion structures information. An emotion gives access to unconscious positions and approaches. When emotion has changed, then the scene has changed, then the new emotional imprint on the situation then falls into the shelves in the depths of unconsciousness, where it gets to be the framework of information organization. It's coded for next time a similar things comes up. That's the only information you got, that's the only thing you have trained. What would you think would happen if you are in this his situation, like or hero? Check your feeling and discard your thoughts that are freer. What is your experience? What would happen to you? What information do you get into this uh, got into this scenario? Do a mind travel. Do the scene and see how your whole body system reacts. How is your nervous system coded? What comes up? What happens in your stomach, in your legs? What comes up? What does your body consciousness tell you? That's why we have training of the body consciousness, training of the emotional. That's why we have training to handle emotional stress. That's what pilots, sportsmen and first responders like this do. Positive, positive coding and mind control. Get it into the spine, as uh, the saying is. So they can react instinctively and intuitively when the brain is in the reptile because of the dangerous situation. And Netflix has constructive depiction of this. If you would believe it. I'll show you later. Then there is dystopia. A horrible future as the oligarchy and the new world order and all this is trying to implement. And like pre-code, pre-programmed for. It comes out weekly. Netflix and demons, vampires, werewolves and witches, and satanic settings, and evil people at the door. Who calls? Who knocks on the door? What is actually my neighbor like? Who? You never know. The enemy is around the corner. All this a conspiracy against spirituality, I would say. Meaning the loving of ourselves, the heart. Conspiracies against the heart. Giving up and letting go instead of falling into egoism, trading love, relationships, getting lost in sensualism, desires and greed, is mutating like a virus in all stories in films. It's not like centralism, I don't say, is unacceptable. It has nothing at all to do with that. There's nothing about being allowed to have your own feelings and all this, nah, 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 nah. It's not that, but it's the middle way. It's not stimulating darkness to live it out, make a culture of it. New world or transhumanism and artificial intelligence. We are getting warned or are we getting exhausted by it? Who is showing what we could deal, how we could deal and find sustainable solutions to these apocalyptic problems? We are being scared so much and presented to reptile brain options, and then the, the hero shows the way. We flee or we fight by blowing up everything. The last thing is criminal, and not, no working options in this training is preserved. So we are coated with every time there's a problem, we are going to blow it up. Which means we practically can't do anything and has to accept there's nothing to do. Like you have a stone in your shoe and can't get it out, what happens? Well, if you don't can get it out and you don't get it out, you change your way of walking to adapt because you end up giving up trying to get the impossible stone out. If you repeat a lie enough, it becomes the truth. This was what Joseph Goebbels said. And these emotional primitive lies and mind controlled like mainstream fake news media 
which lies about ISIS and 9-11, which mind codes dark perceptions of our societies and fellow humans. Napoleon Bonaparte said about how to control men. By interest and fear, you control men. And the interest you manipulate and twist in all films, even in common situations, you get into fear, survival, stress modes, or unwise decisions that gives the same results. Your brain responds and are motivated by what is dangerous. It works in getting memorized, mesmerized in solving dangerous problems for saving you. If you see a detective story, the character behaves like bitching, frustrating teenagers in a bullying environment that holds also for 50-year-old personnel in the film that behaves the same way. It doesn't get higher than this. Stupid, dysfunctional competitions ongoing of borderliners. On this planet, we seem to live the same story on and on again, and that is Jesus, who was the guy who showed in how to be enlightened and master this consciousness universe. He talked to the people how to do this. Then what happened? The rulers and the priesthood conspired against him and scared the living wits out of his followers, which created the fearful reaction that people lied to themselves and crucified the mirror on the truth. Jesus, the love, the heartliness, the integrity, the soul, and submitted to other control. That's why darkness has contracts, hierarchy, obligations, and loyalty cultures for avoiding loyalty to God and righteousness dharma. This scenario is being repeated in every human's life daily, I think. But has Netflix not anything to offer? Well, it actually has. I sit and scan Netflix once a month and intensely try to find something I can compromise on and handle to see. But always I ship to YouTube videos and see something interesting because I can't find anything that doesn't seem to belong, that don't seem to belong to a psychiatric ward. It's work for me, nothing new. All these emotional dramas are not credible because of the soul role in life is, I think, some is, is censured. I feel it's censored. Because the soul works and the consciousness, we know that. It works differently. It's not on mo like movies. Some actually says reality is what we meet that needs to get healed. So is make sure that there's a lot of things that needs to be healed in in respect in re relation to love all the time isn't it so we go on but then i really managed to find something intelligent and inspiring with no satanic agenda the horn with the swiss first responders er sermat in sermat at matterhorn in switzerland these men and women are outright lovable sympathetic has integrity and emotional responsibility and are outright role models for all. It's a very, very good series. I recommend it. Maybe one day we also will see Beautiful Green from 1996, which was banned in several countries. Was it violent or was it pornographic or what goes on? No, 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 no. The problem was they were threatening to the rulers, the all power system. The characters was emotionally mature in the film, not the usual bitching teenagers in grown-up bodies, and not emotionally trespassing others' integrity and testing limits all the time, like, you know, small children. They are spiritual and from more afterlives. And they incarnated on Earth for helping family, friends and fellow men with their loving presence, which gave the program humans a cognitive neurological shock and then by the with the shock with their energy they awakened yeah. 
So, so what is this? I will, I will say, I have a very good uh, uh, word by Jalal ad um, uh, 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 a beautiful Sufi po poet. Your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and fall, find all the barriers within yourself that you somehow have built against it. And now you don't let Netflix confuse this process. Always keep good company. Because you become what you eat. <laughs>